Teacher Gonzalez. And then, thank you dun sa labi ka na. If you have questions sa every topic na um, dinidiscuss ng ating mga speaker, you're free to ask questions. And then, meron silang pinamimigay na previews for us. Ayan. Privilege na yun kasi nandito yung DevCon para magkigay or mag-seminar para sa ating mga CCS students. Okay, um, to proceed to our third speaker, is a user in experience engineer at solid.com.ph. Okay. Okay. Next speaker um, is a web designer at Lensong Solution to discuss the web design trends by call on Ms. Day Alguiros. So, my name is Dre Alkiros. I'm a web designer for Lensoft Solutions. Lensoft, we make lending softwares. Pero ako yung web designer for them. So, parang si Brian at si Richard, naghihint din ako today para makausap kayo lahat. So, sana makinig kayo. Yes. Yep. So, yung pag-uusapan natin today is not really web design trends. Kasi parang naisip ko, palagi na lang, yun, pabago-bago din naman yung trends. And you, you're gonna have to keep up with it. If you want to keep up with it, you can go online. There's our best friend, Google. You can search from there. Or Yahoo, or Bing. Yeah, so, I thought of just uh, sharing with you my 10 rules in designing a website based on experience, which also applies to 10 rules to live by if you are a web designer or if you want to be a web designer or when you are a web designer. Yeah. <coughs> so, rule number one design is not equal to pretty. See, usually, the pag sinabing web design. Anong trabaho mo ay nagpapaganda ako ng website. Hindi dapat mo. Mas importante na yung design mo useful. Usability. Later you can listen to Mika. Yun. <coughs> so design is equal to usability. Not equal to pretty. Okay lang din na maganda yung itsura ng website nyo. Pero mas importante yung magagamit siya. Like what Brian said, uh, you are here, you are here in this world, you are IT people, you are CS people to solve problems using computers. So how will you solve a problem if you're just going to make it pretty? So you have to make it useful. Yeah. Uh, next, number two, you have to set your priorities. By the way, lahat ng rules na to is based on experience ko lang. So hindi nyo siya online. Siguro mahanap siya online. Watak, watak, ganun. So based on my experience lang, I balik pala tayo sa number one. So since sabi ko, it's also rules to live by. So, rules siya sa pag-design ng website at rules ko din siya that I live by as a web designer. So, like I said, design is not equal to pretty, design is equal to usability. So, ako, kunyari, papasok ako ng office, ang ganda ng suot ko, nakasulit tayo ako, hindi man ako mag- Ay, sorry, naka-dress pala ako. <laughs> anyway, so yun. So, kunyari, papasok ako ng office, ang ganda ng suot ko, naka-full business attire ako. Business attire. Naka full business attire ako. Naka kompleto ako ng lahat ng gadgets, ng lahat ng phones na ginagamit or lahat ng tools na ginagamit pang web design. Pero bulok naman ako mag web design. Hindi ako marunong. Anong point? Diba? So, make yourself useful in the office. Diba? Office or if you're doing freelance, make yourself useful to clients. Don't just look pretty. Don't just sit there and look pretty. Make yourself useful. Walang, mag, walang magagawa ang mundo sa'yo kapag hindi mo masolve yung problems nila. So, mas importante yung maging useful kesa maging pretty. Pero okay din maging pretty, bonus point. <laughs> bonus na yung pagka-pretty mo dun sa galing mo. Anyway, so, number two is you set your priorities. So, for web design, set your priorities as in, oh my god, hindi nga siya kita. <coughs> set your priorities meaning sa design, Siyempre yung design kasi, siya yung pinakaunang step 
well, sa company namin. Siya yung pinakaunang step sa paggawa ng website. Siyempre, uh, the, the web design or the web designers design what the users will see. And then the developers do the back end, every, all the hard things at the back. Yeah. So set your priorities. Number one, yung navigation bar. Alam nyo ano yung navigation bar? Yes! Sino hindi alam ko ano navigation bar? May premyo. Joke lang. Okay, so yung navigation bar dapat madali siyang mahanap. So yung pinakaw na hahanapin ng users nyo. Siyempre gusto nyo makita, asan ako? Nasa home ba ako? Nasa about ba ako? Nasa contact us ba ako? Nasa ganito ba ako? So yung navigation nyo dapat siya yung pinakaw na makita. Number two, Users don't read, they scan. So if you have a web page filled with, or if you have a home page, for example, filled with a really, 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 really long paragraph, hindi siya babasahin ng users. Tingnan lang yung mabilis. Tapos na. So what's better to do is, kunyari, nasa home page, gawa kayo ng, siguro, phrase lang, tapos huwag ba, read more. Para may choice yung users nyo na basahin yung the rest sa kabilang page. Para hindi din maklutter yung homepage nyo, kawawa ng users, puro letters, no? Dapat kumakal na ng PDF, hindi website. <laughs> okay, so next. So priorities is, don't make your users think. So, huwag nyo silang pag-isipin. Dapat simple lang yung, this is for the homepage pala. Dapat simple lang, madaling maintindihan yung navigation, madaling mahanap, wala masyadong text. Um, lagyan nyo yung images. Or kung gusto nyo maglagay ng text, yung images, lagyan nyo ng text para dun sila magbabasa, may makita silang colors, gano'n. Something. Yun. And last, your average user will only wait 5 seconds for your website to load. So don't put too much things in it. Don't put too much images. Don't put too much JavaScript. Just make it as simple as possible. Kasi kapag mas dinamihan mo yung laman niya, mas matagal siyang maglo-load. At pag mas matagal siyang maglo-load at lumagpas siya ng 5 seconds, hindi siya titignan ng users niyo. Lipat na siya sa next one. Kaya siguro, ano na yung social networking dati? Kaya siguro namatay yung Friendster. Kasi ang bagal niyang mag-load. Sample lang yun. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> yun. So, in life, you also have to set your priorities. Like, you have to set if your number one priority is work, if your number one priority is family, so best example is, hindi pa kayo sumisweldo, no? Best example, kunyari, sumisweldo na kayo. Kunyari, may trabaho kayo or naka-part-time kayo and you get money. Anong pinakaunang priority? Gimmick. Joke. So kunyari sa akin, ang pinaka-important priority sa akin is yung tuition ng kapatid ko. Yung tuition ng isang kong kapatid, yung bills ko sa bahay, yung pagkain ng aso ko, yun yung mga priority. So, huli na siguro yung gimmick, gano'n. So, you have to set your priorities straight. Kasi, if you don't set your priorities, parang yung website, if you don't set your priorities, ang gulo ng buhay mo. Paano ba inuna mo gimmick, tapos may tuition yung kapatid mo, high pa pa utang? <laughs> so, you have to set your priorities. Okay? Number three. Ah, may, ato ka lang. Focus on the important. Yung tingin nyo, set your priorities. Focus on the important. So number three, be consistent. So be consistent. Your fonts sa... Sino may alam ng fonts? Hindi <laughs> 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 alam yung font. Yung font, yung itsura ng letters na ginagamit nyo sa website. Or kahit saan. <laughs> so, so, so sa isang website, for example, I think the minimum number for fonts that you should use is two. Two to three. Or kung iba yung font nung logo nyo, or kung may font yung logo nyo, that's already one. And then another one for all your texts, and then another one for all your images. Parang maximum na yun. Kasi ang pangat naman siguro kung pumunta ka ng website kasi makikita mo, sa taas may Comic Sans, sa baba may Calibri, sa baba may Calibri, may Helvetica, sa baba may Arial. Ang sakit naman sa mata nun. So besides the fonts, your colors should also be consistent. So paano kung yung Comic Sans yellow, yung Arial black, yung Helvetica blue, rainbow? So be consistent. Use just one color if possible for all your texts. One color for all this area, one color for this area, or just two colors actually. Usually two colors. Or just use the color scheme of the website that you are doing. Brown? 
Okay lang, depende. Kung ano, yung, kung yung company mo, brown, go with brown. Yeah. So, consistent, be consistent also with the images. Uh, like, for example, hindi website na example. Kunyari, yung kanina yung video ng Nate Millard, di ba yung images niya, puro taong nagpe-pray? So, dapat ganun ka consistent. Paano kung Nate Millard yung tugtog mo, tapos may taong nagpa-party, di ba? Pangitignan. So, be consistent with images, with fonts, with colors, and everything else. Be consistent. So, with life naman, like as a web designer, or actually as anything, as anyone, be consistent. Uh, pagpapasok ako ng office, my mom always tells me na, tsaka my dad always tells me na, kahit na 10 o'clock ang pasok mo, kahit na 9 o'clock ang pasok mo, be there 30 minutes early, all the time. Kasi pag consistent ka, hindi tayo ng boss mo eh. So, kung 10 o'clock ang pasok mo, 10 o'clock nandun ka na. That's really start of work. So, like for example, if you're there at 9.30 and your work is at 10 a.m., sabi ng boss mo, Uy, si Dre, lagi yung maaga. Maaasahan natin yan. She's always there 30 minutes before work starts. Or, kung gusto mo din, since 10 o'clock pa simula ng office, yung 9.30 to 10, Facebook, email, Twitter, Instagram, etc. Para pagdating ng 10, work na talaga. Or, and so. <coughs> so, Be consistent with everything. Be consistent with your work. Yeah. Kung lagi kang on time magpasa, lagi ko yun. Be consistent. It helps. Four, favorite. Interact. So, so website, interact with your users. You interact with your users via your web design. So, your links, they should look like links. Your texts should look like texts. Your buttons should look like buttons. Etc. So links should look like links, meaning uh, if you have a website and there's a text there, na gusto mo siyang i-click ng mga users. Gusto mo dun sila mag-click. Pero hindi mo siya nilagay ng underline, hindi siya blue. Paano malalaman ng users mo na gusto mo siyang i-click? So interact with your users. And in life, interact with other people. Interact with your boss. Interact with your clients. Interact with your teammates. Interact with your enemies. Interact with anyone. Kasi, hindi kayo matututo mag-English, mag-Tagalog, mag-Tikulano, mag-Ilocano. Hindi kayo matututo magsalita kapag hindi kayo mag-interact with other people. So, interaction. Communication. Communications to gain connections. <coughs> connections that you don't have. Joke lang. <laughs> okay. So, next. Number five pa lang ako. Number five. Be flexible. So, for website, be flexible. So, it should work on... Not all, or maybe multiple browsers, make it work in IE. Kung alam niyo yung dilemma ng IE sa pag-design ng website, make it work there. It's important because users or clients from other countries still use IE. They still use IE. Hate them for it, but they still use IE. So you have to make it work for IE. You have to make it work for Chrome, for Safari, for Opera. Or kung ano yung requirements. Or kung ayaw nyo mag-work siya doon, ilagay, kung freelance kayo at ayaw nyo mag-work siya doon, ilagay nyo siya sa kontrata nyo. It will, I will only make this website work here. And if you want it to work in IE, you have to pay me triple. <laughs> <laughs> make it clear, interact with your clients. So, yeah. so, be flexible. It should work in all browsers, not all, maybe multiple browsers. It should also work in multiple platforms. Diba? Kasi, Siguro, kung yung client mo, so Windows gumagamit. Paano yung mga gamit ng website niya? Hindi mo pwede ka sila naka-Windows. Diba? So, merong naka-Linux, merong naka-Mac, merong naka... Ano bang OS? Yun. <coughs> Be flexible. And for responsive websites, of course, you have to make it work in desktop, tablet, and cell phones. All screen sizes, different screen sizes, different resolutions, you have to make it work for that. Sino nakarinig na ng responsive website? So, na, yung responsive website, ano siya? Uh, pwede mong i-resize yung screen. Pwede mong i-resize yung screen and your website will still stay intact. So, magiging one website na lang siya for mobile, for tablet, for desktop. Anyways, that's not my talk. My talk is this one. <coughs> so, be flexible. Yeah, be flexible. So, so work sa lahat ng tao, be flexible. Like, for example, nung studyante pa ako, nung studyante pa ako, nung college pa ako, uh, two days ago, college pa lang ako, joke lang. Nung studyante pa lang ako, uh, 
Ako ang project manager, ang developer, ang designer, ang tester. Lahat. Kasi syempre gusto kong tumasa. So, kunyari binigyan ka ng team, usually, diba, you're given a team, you're, you're grouped in groups. And there are, there are some people who will not cooperate. <laughs> Alam nga namang kayaan mo na yung buong project na mawala, di ba? Either kasama ka sa babagsak, or lahat kayo papasa. It's, it's a tough decision. Medyo mahirap siyang sagot eh. So, siguro kung yung, ano, kung yung taong yun, kaibigan mo, and you care about that person, pwede ba? Naggawan mo siya ng project or something. Pero, ang magandang solution doon, sa akin lang, opinion ko lang, ang magandang solution doon is, turuan mo siya. Sabay kayong gumawa. Pwede na hindi siya gagawa pero dapat present siya sa lahat ng meetings, sa lahat ng defenses, sa lahat ng times na gagawa kayo ng project. Dapat nandun siya, dapat nakatutok siya sa screen. Ewan ko, ganun yung ginagawa ko. Dapat yun naman yung tinuruan ko. So anyways, point is you should be flexible. So most of the time while you're a student, hindi, hindi, hindi programming lang ang gagawin mo, hindi design lang ang gagawin mo. You have to be flexible. Flexible. Let's flexible. Oh, yun number six. Kiss. Sino alam ng kiss? Nigeria. Hindi. Kaya yung ball pen. Yung ball pen ang makapagsabi sa akin ko na yung sumi ng kiss. Na hindi speaker. Kiss. Yun na din yun. Ano ulit? Sabi mo sa kailang lang. Keep it short and simple. Oh, yeah. So yes, kiss is very important. It's also important in your daily lives, but it doesn't mean kiss as in mama chuk chuk no, not that kiss. Tama, keep it short and simple. Pero nung panahon ko, we actually called it. Keep it simple, stupid. Keep it simple, stupid. Parental guidance. So yun yung meaning nung kiss sa amin. Keep it simple. Pero sorry din, keep it short and simple. Pwede din keep it simple and smile. Basta, kiss. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Self-explanatory. Make things simple. Ah, uh, wag nung paligoy ligoy pa. Just say what you mean. Keep it. Okay, so keep it simple. Your websites. Make it simple. Uh, your paper, your thesis. Make it simple. Keep it simple. Uh, direct to the point. Wag nung paligoy ligoy pa. Uh, kung may gusto kang sabihin, sabihin mo na. Wag kang torpe. Sabihin mo na agad. <laughs> Next, number seven, test early, test often. So just because web designer ka, just because web developer, just because hindi ka QA, hindi ka magte-test. So kailangan mo pa rin i-test yung ginagawa mo as early as possible. So kunyari, homepage pa lang yung natatapos ko. Okay. Kunyari, banner pa lang yung natatapos ko. Ite-testing ko na siya kung gumagana siya. Ite-testing ko na siya agad kung gumagana siya. Kung applicable ba siya sa ginagawa ko. Kung page pa lang natatapos ko, itetest ko na siya. Kunyari, natapos ko na lahat. Itetest ko ulit siya bago ko siya ipasa sa QA, bago ko siya ipasa sa developer. Test mo na. Test ng test ng test ng test. Parang sa school, test mo na bago lesson. Sa life pala yun, test mo na bago lesson. Sa school, lesson mo na bago lesson. So, ano din siya? For example, you have thesis. You have uh, programming classes. di ba? Sorry. HTML classes, PHP classes. Classes na technically related na kailangan may gagawin ka. Bago mo ipasa sa teacher mo, i-test mo muna siya. Kung gumagana siya, hindi. Not unless, kanyari, mamaya na yung deadline nyo, ngayon ang kayo gagawa. Test nyo pa rin siya. 
<coughs> yeah. Next. So always think what if. What if. Always think what if. You put yourself in your user shoes. What if gawin ko to? Magugustuhan kaya user ko? What if lagyan ko ng yellow? Na sobrang tingkat. Magugustuhan kaya ng user ko? Makikita kaya niya. Think what if, what if, what if ganito, what if ganito, what if ganyan. So, same with life. Kapag kunyari, yun nga, yung may hindi cooperative na classmate. What if may pinagdadaan na ito sa buhay? What if heartbroken pala siya kaya hindi siya mga pagko? So, you always think what if. Huwag lagi sa mga iniisip. Same with your website. Huwag lagi sa mga iniisip. Knock, knock. So, same with your website. What if? Just because sa'yo maganda siya tignan, just because sa'yo useful siya, ibig, hindi ibig sabihin nun, hindi mo naiisipin yung gagamit nun. Yung titingin nun, yung gagamit nun. So, what if ilagay ko dito yung button na to, may kita kaya ng user? What if ganito kaliit yung button ko? May click kaya niya? So, always think that don't think of just yourself, of what you think, Think of what other people think, of what your users are going to think, of what your teammates are going to think. You know? So what if? You always put yourself in the shoes of other people. Para, kasi hindi lang naman ikaw yung gagamit ng website. In fact, ikaw nga lang yung magde-design ng website. So, doesn't mean na ikaw yung gagamit. So you have to think, what if? Ay, always have a call to action. Alam niyo ba ano yung call to action? Sino may alam ko ng call to action? Wala. <coughs> Anyways, yung call to action, uh, usually sa so, isang website, siya yung buttons, siya yung links, siya yung nag-redirect sa'yo kung saan mo gusto pong ka. Yeah. Yun yung call to action. CTA, in short. So you always have to have a call to action. Like for example, if you have a web page na puro text yung laman, walang kahit anong link going anywhere. Ano isipin ko kung ako yung user, tapos ganun yung website, may isipin ko. Ba't ako nagbabasa nito? Ano bang gustong iparating sa akin nung gumawa ng website na to? So, dapat laging may call to action. Same with life. Or same with being a web designer. Same with being a student. Bakit ka nandito? Bakit kayo nandito? Bising pa ba kayo? So, bakit kayo nandito? Para matuto. Para makinig. Yun yung call to action niya. And your next call to action, what are you gonna do when you get home? Magre-research. Ano ba itong pinagsasabi ng mga speakers sa harapan? Ano ba yung GitHub? Diba? Pag uwi niya, I'm sure, i-research niya yan. Kasi yun yung call to action nyo. You can't be just sitting there. You can't be just listening because of nothing. Ba't kayo nandito kasi required? <laughs> so, so, dapat laging may call to action, diba? Kapag... Bakit ako nag-aaral ng college? Kasi gusto ko, pag-graduate ko, may trabaho ko. Bakit ako nagtatrabaho? Kasi gusto ko bumili ng kotse. Bakit kailangan ko ng kotse? Kasi ayoko na mag-commute. Yun yung mga call to action nyo. Ba't ayoko na mag-commute? Kasi travel. Kasi namin tao. Kasi nakawan ako. May hinagakit eh. <laughs> so yun yung number nine. And the last one is, never stop learning. Favorite quote. Never stop learning. So, you may... Pwede graduate ka na from college, pwede uh, professional ka na sa web design, pero dapat eager ka pa rin matuto. Kasi parang sabi nga ni Bryce, sabi ni Richard, fast-paced yung mundo ng IT eh. Every week, minsan nga every day, every other day, may bagong technology, may bagong kailangan matutunan. So never stop learning. At para matutunan na yun, interact with other people. Go to events. Participate in events, in contests. Usually, lahat ng contest kayo yung libre, walang bayo. Ang dali-dali matuto. And when you participate in contests, in events, you meet other people to interact with. Lumalaki yung network nyo. May natututunan kayo sa kanila, may natututunan sila sa'yo. So, never stop learning. Actually, may bonus. Bonus! Be patient and enjoy. Be patient with your clients. Be patient with your teammates. Be patient with your classmates who are not cooperating. 
What if, di ba? Be patient. And last but not the least, bonus is enjoy what you do. So, kung weather programmer ka, weather developer ka, designer, QA tester, technical support, hardware person, businessman, kahit ano pa yan, enjoy it. Enjoy it. <coughs> Kasi kapag hindi mo siya in-enjoy, doon mabilis ka dating yung palagi kang pikon, palagi kang bibi, palagi kang galit. So enjoy lang. Pag hindi mo na siya in-enjoy, find something that you enjoy and do it. So yung nagtanong kanina kung mahirap bang mag-program, depende. Kung ni-enjoy mo siya, madali lang. Madali ba mo mag-design? Depende. Dahil ni-enjoy ko siya, nadadalian ako. Dahil yun yung passion ko, yun yung gusto ko. So enjoy. Enjoy what you do. <coughs> and be patient, especially if it's your job to be patient, be patient. Yes. So, I'm actually done. There's supposed to be a thank you there. Thank you, invisible thank you, for listening. And you have questions. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, ask ko lang po yung kung ano yung counter niyo po sa industry kang web design. So, uh, ask ko lang po yung about sa, paano niyo po inaandil yung mga critics? Kasi yung po yung parang pansin ko na pag web design or designer ka, yung mga ayaw ka lang ganito, ayaw ka lang ganyan. So, how do you handle those uh, situations? Bonus rule, be patient. Okay. Tsaka, yeah. <laughs> 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 Si Ate naka-block my question sa kasi ko yun naka-white pero isa lang yung mic eh. Ladies first. Ladies first daw. Gusto mo isigaw mo na lang. Joke lang. Ayer latit ka na. Medyo hyper yung magkutin. Sorry. sabihin mo sa kanya. Tapos, defend your answer kung bakit hindi siya mag- interact with your client. Hindi talaga maganda yung itsura. At parang pangit talaga siya. Parang at first, siyempre, you insist to your client. Gumawa na ano? Proof of concept. Alam mo na yun? Proof of concept. It's parang you defend it. You defend it to your client. Kunyari, ano ba example? Kahapon, yung client ko, gusto mong magpalagay ng pop-out sa cellphone. So, medyo hindi advisable kasi magpalagay yung pop-out sa cellphone. Diba? So, sasabihin mo, kasi sir, pag nilagyan natin ng pop-out sa cellphone, matatakpan niyo yung ganito, yung ganyan. Yung users nyo hindi makakaabot dito, ganyan, ganyan. So, pwede mong ipagtanggol yung sarili mo at first. Pero kung talagang ipilit nila, nang ipilit, nang ipilit, nang ipilit, at wala ka na talagang magawa, gawin mo na lang. Pinabayaran ka na <laughs> Agis mo doon sa akin, nasa buti mo yung ball pen. Si Kuyo ang naka-white daw. Nauna si Kuyo ang naka-white eh, sorry. Gusto ni Kuyo ang naka-white, may mic doon. Advisable po bang gumamit ng mga framework na downloadable sa net kapag kagawa ng website? It actually also depends. It depends. 
Kunyari, uh, actually yung frameworks, ginagamit siya para pang mabilisan yung trabaho. Kasi syempre, pag gumamit ka ng framework, ilalagay mo na lang lahat ng mga gusto mong features, tapos papalitan mo na lang siya, itipuit mo na lang siya para makuha yung gusto mo. So, for my, siguro for my line of work na kailangan, design ka ng website, kailangan ko bukas, tapos na, framework, yung pinaka the best na solution. Pero kung, if you have a lot of time, at sobrang gusto mo mag-explore, at gusto mo talagang malaman yung kung paano gumagana to, kung paano gumagana to, kung paano gumagana to, gumawa ka ng sarili mo. Yeah. Most people, yung, ano, yung beginners, they start with creating their own muna para matutunan nila yung step by step yung kung ano yung talagang nagagawa ng CSS na to, nagagawa ng CSS na to, nagagawa ng HTML na to, they do it from scratch. Pero kung marunong ka na naman at matagal mo na siyang ginagawa at kailangan talaga yung website mo mabilis, you use a framework. Wala nang tanong, wala nang price. <laughs> so thank you so much, Sinead. If you have questions, kapitan nyo ako or email or Twitter.